Hey everybody, it's Emily Grant, um, the Gillespie County 4-H agent for those of you who I have not met. Super excited to come on today and talk to y'all about Fall Roundup. Okay, so Fall Roundup is um, November 30th through December 2nd. And for those of you who've never heard of Fall Roundup before, this is our fall contest. So the contests that are included in Fall Roundup are Livestock Quiz Bowl, Horse Quiz Bowl, Educational Presentations, and Public Speaking. Now, those have been in the spring and are now in the fall, so make sure everyone's aware of that. Food show, food and nutrition quiz bowl, entomology judging, and food challenge. So coming up, there are two contests that you must compete at at the county level to advance on to the district contest. One of those is food show and the other of which is food challenge, okay? So if you want to compete in fall roundup, for food show or food challenge, you must compete at the county level first and qualify to go on to district. Now, Shay has been sending out some information on food show. Um, I have posted a video um, in the e-blast and also on the private Facebook group of how to enter food show and writing your recipe. Um, and food challenge teams have been due to Shay. If you're interested in food show, um, I mean, food challenge, let us know. Teams have already started practicing. We don't know if we can get you on those teams or not, but let us know. And if first nothing else, that way you can be ready for next year. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the basic details about Fall Roundup. They're the dates, November 30th through December 2nd. Um, registration opens October 18th and runs through November 3rd. So if you want to participate, we gotta get make sure we're registered between those time periods. Um, basic details are we compete as juniors, intermediates, and seniors. So juniors are third, fourth, and fifth graders. Intermediates are sixth, seventh, and eighth. And seniors are ninth through twelfth graders. Now, this gets a little tricky because sometimes in teams we don't have full teams. So our juniors can compete as intermediates. Our intermediates cannot compete as juniors. Um, and we, we can't move anyone up to a senior level because those um, kiddos qualify for state roundup and those can only be seniors. So a junior can be an intermediate, an intermediate cannot be a senior, and an intermediate cannot be a junior. So basically the only way we move up and combine teams is juniors on intermediate teams. Um, so let's first talk about lives. Let's talk about quiz bowls in general. So quiz bowls in general are kind of like Jeopardy slash family feud type contests. So if you're buzzing in um, when the question is read to answer that question. And then those questions are um, centered around specific topics. So we have the livestock quiz bowl, horse quiz bowl, and food nutrition quiz bowl. So as you can imagine, livestock quiz bowl is about quiz for livestock, horse quiz bowl is about horse, and food nutrition uh, quiz bowl is about those things that kiddos have learned in their food nutrition project. Uh, Livestock Quiz Bowl will be led by Tiffany Rader. Um, so if you want to participate, please let us know so we can get you on that email list and practicing. Um, we don't have a leader or a volunteer coaching horse quiz bowl currently. Um, if you're interested um, or to, as a volunteer or you've got a team, team of kiddos interested, let's get that going um, and get y'all practicing. So senior teams on quiz bowls must have a minimum and a maximum of 44 participants. Intermediates and juniors can have three to four participants um, to compete. In both of those contests, the top three teams go on to state. So that's exciting. The next group of contests we have are educational presentations and public speaking. So these contests are similar that you are presenting and giving a speech, but they're kind of vastly different. So public speaking, um, we'll go over first. This is an individual contest. There is one category and your presentation is five to eight minutes and there are no props or visual aids. On the flip side, you have educational presentation. Um, this can be done as an individual or a two man team. Um, in an educational presentation that you are allowed props and your presentation can be up to 12 minutes. Um, so, and then there's educational presentation category. So not only, um, so then it's divided up even further. So there's ag technology and farm safety, animal science, beef, discover scientific method poster. Um, so anyone who's doing an agro science fair project, this is a great way to get started and jump into that. Health and wellness, horse, 
There's an open category that's about general topics. Um, there's a little bit more in the 4-H fall roundup about what could be in that open topic, open general. Um, to be very honest, you're gonna really wanna try to fit into one of the other categories. Um, that open general should be a last resort. Um, there's open a &R, open family and community health. And again, those open categories only need to be utilized if you don't really fit into the other ones. Um, a promote 4-H and then safety and injury prevention. So that's gonna be um, all the categories for educational presentations. So if, and if you want to do an educational presentation in any of those interests, you let us know. Now, these contests used to be in the spring. And so um, your Gillespie County agent was super excited about helping and getting kids ready for those in the spring until she reviewed the district fall roundup um, and realized it's in November um, or just end of November, beginning of December. So if this is something you want to do, do a public speaking or educational presentation and you need help or you want guidance or you want my thoughts, um, we need to get moving on that quickly. Um, I love educational presentations and public speaking. Um, I do love to have a little more time um, and have just started. So let's get rolling on those. If you want to do those, get with me ASAP if you want to do them and you have a plan or you did it last year and you know what you're doing, go forth and prosper. Um, but more than happy to help anyone there in those scenarios. Food show. Um, I just did a video a couple of days ago about um, entering food show at the county level. Um, now, the theme is backyard barbecue this year. So this is be a, you're presenting a dish um, that is a appetizer, a main dish, a side dish, or a healthy dessert fits within that theme of backyard barbecue. Um, at district, juniors and intermediates don't give a presentation. They go through an interview. Um, there's a list of questions in the fall roundup guide that they can use to prepare for both county and district. Um, while they don't have to have a memorized presentation, um, it is kind of good to answer some of those questions out and have some memorized canned answers, as I would call them. So um, maybe we're not memorizing a speech, but we're memorizing specific things that we want to make sure those kiddos include as they answer those questions. Um, we talked about um, family and community health, um, quiz bowl, very similar to livestock um, and horse quiz bowl, um, entomology judging. So this one, <laughs> you're judging bugs, basically you're identifying bugs. But so it's a team contest. So you have to have three to four youth participate, participating. You um, identify the selected insects and then you complete a written exam. Um, so study materials for the entomology contest are online. If you're interested, let us know. We'll be sure to help you. Um, but just that's another contest available at Fall Roundup. Um, the last contest is food challenge. Like I said, the food challenge teams have already started practicing and competing. If you're interested, you can let us know. We're just not certain that we will have a spot for you this year on a team since that's already started. Um, but if not, for sure next year. If you're interested in food challenge and we can't get you on a team, um, definitely try food show and get started on your food nutrition project this year. Um, and then next year, get involved with food challenge. So that's the highlights. Um, there is a 44 page fall roundup guide that I have summarized for you today in all of five minutes. Um, but if you have any questions, let us know. We'd be super excited if you wanted to participate. Um, those are excused absences if you are missing school. Uh, the contest will either be he held here in Fredericksburg or in Kerrville. Um, but we'll get to those details as we get entered. So remember, let us know if you're interested in competing. Registration for Fall Roundup is um, October 18th through November 3rd. Um, big thank you to all the volunteers and adult leaders um, who fundraise all year so that our kiddos' entry fees are paid for. So shout out to them. Um, so as you register, you will select Pay With County Check, and we will get that paid through adult leaders. So if you have any questions, let us know. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.